Hello everyone and welcome to Usability. Today we are going to see how to play Isekai Saga Awaken on PC using the amazing Bluestacks 5. That is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. And it has faster performance than any other high-end Android device or Android platform. We will be able to easily download and install Isekai Saga Awaken and enjoy the game on our Windows PC or laptop with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Bluestacks 5 which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Isekai Saga Awaken. So without further ado, let's get to it. First of all buddies, the first thing to do is to launch our favorite internet browser. We selected the one we prefer. Let's go to that URL I have highlighted in green color. There you are seeing it on the screen of the PC. You don't need to type it, because I provided a clickable link in the description of this video in the first main comment. After clicking on that link, we land here on the site of Bluestacks, which the Android emulator that we are going to run to get access to the game Isekai Saga Awaken on the PC. It is now obvious that we access a great deal of advantages of preferring using that emulator. Then, we are on the way to proceed to download the Isekai Saga Awaken by simply clicking on the button play on Bluestacks that I have marked in green. The step is clicking on it. And the download step takes no time at all. Voila! Here is located the download. It is an executable file. The following step is to run the executable file, so we click on this file. If we are on Windows 10 it will have asked us for permission to allow modifications to the system. We clicked yes. I minimized the internet browser to start to see the installation software considerably better. The installer is quite simple. It is made up of two possibilities. Install, and setup path. I will describe what setup path truly does. We simply just click on it. So we note that we end up with here the path where the emulator can be placed. If we would like to change for better this folder we must click on that, browse, button. And now we choose another folder and set up the emulator exactly where we choose. To keep it simple, just set it where it is. Then, I click on back. So I simply click install. Voila! The setup begins and it's going to progress in the download of those MB which are shown on the screen. When you save it on your machine, it is likely to be a little more or less MB. The download rate can be faster or at a lower speed, determined by your connection and depending on the speed capacity of the emulator web servers. Today they are running rather fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance-related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At this moment, the emulator happens to be started immediately. As you can observe, at the bottom of the screen, there's a progress bar which will fill up when it attains the finish, the emulator will be launched for the first time. The fact is the emulator has been started, here for the very first time. Before we keep going, as you can see, it created a couple of icons right here on the PC desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks multi-instance. Note that the Bluestacks app icon will be only one we are focused on. Every time we desire to operate Isekai Saga Awaken on our laptop or computer, we twice mouse click on that app icon and consequently use the emulator. The Bluestacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in eco mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Why don't we conduct the following step, which is actually a must-have, and this is to begin browsing the Google Play Store. To execute this we will go here to System Apps, we click. And we'll just click on Play Store. As you can see now the Google Play is started. At this point we must log on. At this time once we're right here, we must definitely begin doing this following step which is absolutely mandatory. So we simply click on, sign in. At this moment it shows, checking info. It might in some cases get stopped at, checking info, additionally it isn't going to advance. If that's the case, you may attempt to connect to your account after a number of hours it's going to usually be resolved. At this moment we're going to provide our email and password. The email ought to be a Gmail email address and its corresponding password. For example you can use the same exact email address you're using at this time in your own YouTube account. Then I will type in my data and I'll go back after I have done it. That's it, info typed. And here is Google welcoming us and presenting us their twos. 
we should accept them all by hitting, I agree. Following, it make us possible to back up to the Google Cloud. You might keep it selected it's going to make a backup of the data files on this device to Google Drive. I am not going to select it. You can utilize this option if you like. We mouse click on accept. Google Play Store is started automatically and immediately. To set up the video game, we must get to the Android emulator desktop by clicking on the icon marked in green. Right now that we are discovering the desktop of this Android emulator, we can see that we come with right here the install app button. We then click on this button. There we have got the Android game. Let's quickly mouse click now on the install link that I'm just presenting now in green. And this will commence the software setup. At this time it is going to download on your desktop or laptop and set up the Android game. It may take a bit of time or it might possibly be very fast. It again all is dependent upon on our own web connection. This has just ended setting up. Back to the emulator desktop by simply clicking the following button that I'm highlighting in green, so that you can launch Isekai Saga Awaken for the very first time. You are currently on the emulator desktop, and then we are on the way to simply click this brand new Isekai Saga Awaken icon that was provided. This game app has started for the first time, so there we get it. I can also press anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. And to take pleasure in the experience to the greatest, we should activate the large monitor, for which we have two choices. This is actually the first one. We simply click on that app icon which I am showing in green color. And the monitor is maximized, offering one border on top, one on the right side and the third one at the bottom. Assuming that we need to have fun with the app using all the screen, we press on this particular application icon. And then we would likely presently be experiencing the Android game in 100% screen setting. To quit the full screen functionality, press the F11 key. And we might now end up being in standard display screen setting. At present, I am choosing to demonstrate to you the keys mapping and that is definitely quite enjoyable. That way we will probably be able to utilize the game far more effortlessly. The first thing is to press this software icon. And here you will have the ability to get the appropriate controls. Let me let the standard configuration, though if you desire to modify it, you may well do so without having problem. At present, you can find another information that we need to take into consideration, and it's that we will get a message from Google Mail saying that a different device has been linked to our Google account. It will likely question us if we're the individuals who have connected that electronic device. That's right, we may not get worried, simply because the emulator is emulating an Google Android tablet or smartphone. In order to find which tablet or smartphone is currently being emulated, we visit right here, to the cogwheel and we click on it. Therefore we browse here to the model choice. And there we realize that the emulator is simulating a Samsung cellular phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. That's all guys. So much for our video tutorial. I sincerely hope you enjoyed it. Especially that everyone found it interesting. If that is so, give it a great like, subscribe to our channel. And if you have feedback, concerns or ideas, put them in the comment area down below. You can even leave a comment on my Twitch channel. I conduct live streams on occasion. You get it below in the video description and in the first pinned comment. Just click on any of the online videos which are usually showing up on the screen and see you in the future video game videos. Bye.